friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. Some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, it is me, Lana. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I am going to be doing my spring TBR for you all. So, in case you don't know, in case you're new, I do seasonal TBRs as well as monthly TBRs just to kind of create a little bit of structure for me in reading, but also allow me to still kind of mood read at the same time. And so, I put all of my like owned TBR, which I will make a video with all of those books at some point soon. And I put them in this cup and I color code them by genre and I pull them out to one so that I'm not favoring older or newer books and that every book has a chance to be pulled. Basically, I'm going to go ahead and pull eight books for this season. I will definitely make sure to tell you the colors once they're pulled. Here we go. So I mix them up. All right, and then we're gonna do a handy dandy pull from the middle, and oh, it is a fantasy, and it is Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. I'm really, really excited to check this out. I've heard such, such good things about this story, and here, I'll just read you the synopsis so you can get an idea. Morgan Crow is cursed. Born on Ev Eventide, the unluckiest day for any child to be born, Morgan is blamed for all local misfortunes. And worst of all, the curse dooms her to die at midnight on her 11th birthday. But as Morgan awaits her fate, a remarkable man named Jupiter North appears, whisking her away into the safety of a secret magical city called Nevermore. It's in Nevermore that Morgan discovers she must contend for a place in the city's most prestigious organization, the Wondrous Society. Morgan must compete in four dangerous trials against hundreds of other children or she'll have to confront her deadly fate. That sounds really cool. I'm really looking forward to this and I have been wanting to get more into middle grade anyways, so this is definitely a good start. Gonna pull from the back here. What is this? A contemporary and it is Love and Luck by Jenna Evans Welch. I believe this was part of her companion series where like a girl goes to a country and just has like an adventure so I think this one the main character goes to Ireland so that sounds exciting I'm definitely looking forward to it and it seems like a springtime book anyways so perfect all right next one Ooh. so this one is a contemporary and it is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. Chanel is going to love this because this is her absolute favorite book. I'm really looking forward to reading this. All I really know about it is that it has really good asexual rep and that's all I kind of really want to know about it and just kind of jumping in, especially because it is like Chanel's favorite and she's my friend, so I definitely want to love it too. So I'm super excited to check this out. Let's see. I'm gonna pull off, um, these. Ooh, so this one is a literary fiction and it is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. I'm actually really excited to check this out because I have been wanting to watch the TV show and I've also been wanting to dive more into literary fiction as well and I've heard such good things about this. So I am definitely looking forward to it. Next stick is, ooh, an arc. This one is, okay, so this one I know is around here somewhere. I just cannot seem to find it, but it is Frankly in Love by David Yoon. Um, I'm actually really excited about this because I've been wanting to read this for a minute. I have read Nicola Yoon's work, but I haven't read her husband's work yet, and I've heard such good things about it, so I'm definitely excited to check this one out. And the next one. I'm trying to make it so I don't forget these little ones. Ooh. Ooh, another arc, and this one is The Meet Cube Project by Rhiannon Richardson. I received this from Simon Teen. 
and I believe this came out in January of this year. So I'm really looking forward to this. From what I remember, it's about a girl who's trying to find a date for her sister's wedding, and so her friends and family decide that this is a great opportunity to set her up on a meet cute like blind date type of thing. So I'm definitely excited to check this out, especially because you don't really see this type of story with black characters that often. So here for it. So two more books. All right, this one's a graphic novel and it is Heartstoppers Volume 1 by Alice Oseman, so another Alice Oseman book. I'm really looking forward to this because I've heard really, really good things about her graphic novel series and I'm just so excited for this. So from what I remember, it's a cute like boy meets boy fall in love story. So I'm definitely, definitely here for this. Let's do right here. Ooh, so it is Carry On by Rainbow Ruel. So I got this for my friend Erin from Book to Busy. She sent this to me as a gift. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. I've only read a fangirl, which I know this series kind of corresponds with that because I believe this is her fan fiction that she's writing. For, uh, if I'm if I'm correct, I may be wrong. If I am, I'm sorry. So I'm definitely intrigued to check this out and see what everybody loves about it because I've seen so many people rave about this and the other books in this series. So I'm definitely excited. Alrighty, so that is my spring TBR. If you liked the video, please go ahead and give it a good old thumbs up down below. If you have any comments on any of the books, whether you think I'll like them or whether you like them, please let me know down below. If you are not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are all Savars in a world full of weeds. <laughs>